Alright, so here's a big update on Pokemon Emerald using the Pomeg Berry glitch. You might have seen before that I managed to get a question mark glitch Pokemon in an early video. Well, now I know how, and I can manipulate it to make just about any Pokemon I want in the game. Now if you're familiar about the most common way to get Celebi in Gold, Silver or Crystal, you might already be onto how. It's from the move in slot 1 that the Pokemon has. To be more specific, all moves and Pokemon in the game have a certain index number, as does just about everything. But what's happening here is those numbers are getting shuffled in such a way that the index number of the move in slot 1 change places with the index number of the Pokemon. So in that case, the move in slot 1 Makuhita had was Fake Out, which has an index number of 252. And all numbers from 252 to 276 are glitch Pokemon, so that's what my egg hatched into. So to test out my theory, I used the same Makuhita, but I replaced Fake Out with Rock Smash, which is index number 249, which equates to Lugia. I also cloned my Makuhita many times and put them in box 1 and 2 in a checker pattern like that. Uh, that's simply just to increase the odds of getting one of them to change into a regular egg. So, after a few goes, now uh, this next part is still seemingly random at the moment, I eventually got it to work, so that my Makuhita changed into a regular egg instead of a bad egg. After that, I went and I tested it in battle, and wouldn't you know it, it turned into a Lugia inside of the egg. Three of its moves are glitched, but its first move is Block. Block has an index number of 335, which is exactly the same as Makuhita's. So it's pretty easy to see that they change places, so to speak. After a while of biking around to hatch the egg, which I'm just going to skip, I got it to hatch, and there you have it, level 5 Lugia, easy peasy. So obviously this can then be done again for Celebi, which uses beat up again. You can get a Mew if you use Acid Armor, and you could get a Mewtwo, which ironically needs Splash. However, because the list of Generation 3 moves ends at Psycho Boost, which is number 354, you can only make Pokemon up to Minin with this method, because that's what 354 equates to. But I had an idea that I haven't tested yet. What about the glitch moves? Maybe they have a higher index number, so it's possible we could still make Deoxys or Jirachi with this method. Another thing to note is there's probably another easier method to get those Pokemon, and an alternative method to get the earlier Pokemon. Now, I'm going to start to talk about stuff that I don't understand quite as well, so I hope I do this alright. So this trick works... Oh, sorry. So this trick doesn't work with every Pokemon. The reason for that is, in Generation 3, each Pokemon has a random personality value, or a PID, which determines stuff like its nature, ability, gender, and form in the case of Pokemon like Unknown or Spinda. The Pokemon structure in Gen 3 takes this PID to shuffle the Pokemon data, like species, moves, EVs, etc. The Pokemon substructures. This means every individual Pokemon has these four structures stored in a different order. So, in the case of this Makuhita, the growth and attack substructures happened to get swapped. So, it became a Lugia with block. I was also testing a Poochena, which kept getting a pink scarf as its held item, and it just so happened to have one speed EV and zero defense EVs. Pink scarf's index number is 256, so this means its growth was getting overwritten by its EVs and condition substructure. The reason this works and doesn't produce a bad egg is that since you swap the two, or more, substructures, no data gets added or removed, thus the checksum stays the same. What this could mean is that if you have a Pokemon with the right PID, it's possible to manipulate the Pokemon, or potentially the item too, by the EVs the Pokemon has, which would not have a limitation restriction of 354 like the moves do. And I guess that's what we're working on right now. So please check the description. I'm going to leave links there for more information, as well as a transcript of what I just said in some external link. Hope you enjoy.
Oh, one last thing. Something like this is probably going to get a name soon, and it's probably going to be something boring like Pomeg Egg Glitch or something, but I think we should call it something cool like Glitzer Popping. Agree? Agree.